Hello, I'm Ian. I'm from Germany, and yeah. Let's do it. Let's start with uh, the haircut then. So we're going to use uh, guard two, and we're going to use the uh, wall icons today. I'm going to smash through some of this weight, get rid of it. I'm going to take out some of this weight from the beard as well. What type of haircut are you doing, by the way? So we're going to do uh, a slightly. You can carry on. We're going to do okay. We're going to do a slight. We're going to do a slightly longer executive contour today. Okay, so uh, to be clear, this is not a fade. This is a traditional haircut, really. This is like a short back and sides haircut. I'm blending in the beard. Um, and I'm using the con I'm using the uh, icons today because um, my man Ian here has got a lot of hair, and these just power through the hair and just take it all off and uh, create a nice clean shape for me. What I'm doing is I'm <clears throat> coming in straight on with the clipper guard, in on the beard, taking a little bit of that weight out. And it takes that weight right out, but I'm not going straight in flat. So I go in, sh go in this way, takes out the weight from the beard, and then allows me then to go in and I instantly get a blend between my beard and the haircut. People say it's like magic, probably is. So we're just gonna power out some of this uh, weight through here. Ian's got a lot of hair. Mm -hmm. Haven't you, Ian? Do you grow it yourself or? Yeah, so you, grow, you grow your own hair? Yeah. Yeah, oh, well done. So we went in with six millimeter number two. We're gonna uh, do a number one open guard. So three millimeter open with the icon. Um, just to just tape around the edges on the bottom, just to soften up the haircut a little bit. And just fanning the hair, and fanning the clipper guard, running it over, just taking out that little bit of a line. Sometimes I like to go down through this because of the hairline, the way that the hair grows. So we've gone in at an eight, just to tidy all this up. And then uh, let's do some scissor over comb. So this is a real classic short back and sides haircut, really. This is, you know, harking back to the traditional barbershop haircut. Sending your boy in. Your mum sent you down the barbershop to get a haircut. So I like this length on top, but yeah. we need to go a little bit shorter. A, a, a little bit. A little bit. Just, and it's heavy, so we're going to take a little bit of weight out of it. Okay. 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 So we're going to take a little bit of weight. So we're looking for the short point and the short point that we've done before on the videos. And the bit in the middle is the weight. So I'm not taking any length from the top or the crown. I'm not taking any length from the bottom. I'm just taking weight from the middle of the haircut. That helps it to lay a little bit flatter. And that is what we look for through the back. So I'm not cutting the crown too short. That's such a no-no. I really can't emphasize enough. Like cutting the crown too short is such a, a bad trait. And I'm just taking the sides just in a little bit, just to blend with the clippering we've done previously. And then what we're going to do for the length is we're going to use a guarded razor blade. So you work with the mid length and you notice I'm not working with the crown here. So I'm away from the crown, I'm working with the mid lengths and ends. And all I'm trying to do is just create a little bit of softness to the haircut. If you notice how I touch, when I touch this, how the hair looks, Te more textured, textured yeah. yeah. As soon as as soon as I run my fingers through, you can see the texture. Um, I like I like to use this technique. It's 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 nice finish when you dry it. You get a nicer finish than using um, like the shears, you know. Mm. So it still looks lengthy, 
but it actually feels lighter on the, on the head. And even with cutting in shape, you can still cut in shape. So I, I, I want to keep some of this length through the front, but I can still use it like if I was cutting with the scissors, I can cut down freehand, cut, cutting through an angle shorter from one point to another. So I'm coming down at this angle, this way. So I'm giving direction. But it just means on the ends, it, it, look, it looks like it's grown out already. So you don't get any hard lines. And where I see little bits of weight, I can just pick it up, take it out. So I'm going to clean all this up for you mm. with, with the detailers. I'm going to clean it up there. Mm. We'll keep this. You want to keep the moustache too? Yeah. Yes, yeah, good. Otherwise, you look Amish. There's nothing wrong with being Amish, <laughs> but if you're not, then you don't need to look it. All right. I'm going to come in. Yeah, I mean, this is a, a personal preference. Of course. It's nice to see something different. Yeah, yeah. And you can see the way that the hair grows. So the growth pattern on the beard. What I want to do is push that back slightly. And when I cut it, it means I'll take the weight out of this corner. And I can follow it around. Gives it a rounder, softer finish. So I'm pushing it back. I'm coming in with a heel. The heel of the uh, clipper guard. And then I'm gonna push it across the cheek. Take that off. Okay, let's uh, check the shape and use the mirror. Okay, so I can see now using the mirror that I've, you know, it's slightly lower this side, so I just got to... mm. well, This is a different technique from how I would normally stand. I would normally stand straight on but this is a different type of beard, so I'm treating it differently. Every beard should be treated with respect and as an individual. Isn't that right, Carlos? So I'm using the scissors because I just want to um, be a, bit, a little bit more um, particular about the shape underneath. Because it's very shapely, this beard, it's not just a full straight beard. I need to make sure I'm really particular about how much I take off and where I'm taking it from. So the clippers, you can go in and maybe just take off a little bit too much. Okay, I like the length at the front. If you're happy with the length at the front. Yes. You're happy? I'm happy. What's German? What's happy in German? Um, Glückli. Glückli? Yeah. Glückli. They don't use it very often. <laughs> <laughs> Cleaning the underneath section. Getting Ian to lift his head. It's easier for him to lift his head than me. I'm busy. Just cutting his hairline. So this is a moisturizing shaving transparent gel. Mm. A really long description of gel.
Right, let's dry this bad boy. In fact, what I might do is just put a little bit of pomade in it and a little bit of uh, a little bit of oil. Let's do that. Let's put some old money. <laughs> yeah. Probably the sexiest man in Germany now, <laughs> apart from David Hasselhoff. Um, obviously, the Hoff is the sexiest man in Germany. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> Come on. And a little bit of pomade. I'm going to lower you down, Ian, because you're, you're a big fella, aren't you? Yeah. How tall are you? Um... I don't know what it's in feet, but I'm 150, uh, 95. Wow, he's 10 centimeters taller than me. So he's six foot four, I think. Oh. Six foot four. Wow. I think I'm six foot one. I'm not sure, I'm just far away. <laughs> it's, you know, perspective, isn't it? You, my friend, are done. Yeah. Is that okay? That's just fine. It's fine? You haven't come from Germany for fine. You've come from Germany for excellent. Excellent. That's it. That's better. That's excellent. <laughs>now that you've made it to the end of the video, go ahead and treat yourself to some fine beard brand products over on our shop. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to do that. And finally, Keep on watching some more of our awesome videos.